Hello everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I'm super excited because we are doing another DIY doll outfit. So let's just get right into the tutorial. So to make the skirt for this outfit, I start out by grabbing some fabric. I'm using this kind of black and red fabric. I don't even know what this design is called exactly, but I think it would look really good for a skirt. And now I'm just grabbing my ruler and I'm going to measure a long piece that is two and a half inches wide and cut that out. And now with the wrong side facing up, I'm gonna sew down one of the long edges about a quarter an inch over. Once that's all sewed up, you should have a nice clean edge. Then flipping it back around, I'm going to start folding some pleats. And I'm gonna use some pins to hold them in place. And yes, I'm aware this does not look very pretty. <laughs> Here is my first pleat and it is a little bit difficult, especially with this particular fabric that I chose out. But as long as you use these pins to hold it in place, it should work. So I'm just gonna continue making pleats all the way down and I'm gonna try to space them as evenly as possible. These pleats are pretty close together. I'm gonna try to keep them evenly spaced like that all the way down. Until this piece can fit around the doll with some excess fabric at the back. And now I'm going to go and sew across the top rough edge here so it'll hold all the pleats together. So I sew that up and I'm going to remove the pins. And then what I'm basically going to do, just temporarily put stitches at the bottom of each pleat to hold it in place. And thinking about it now, this probably would have been a smart idea to do before removing the pins. It probably would have been a lot easier. So if you guys still have the pins in, I would recommend doing the step with the pins still in. But this works too. And now because the fabric I used in particular doesn't like to stay in place or in this position very well, I'm going to go and iron down all of these pleats. After ironing that, I'm now going to remove the stitch that we made earlier. Now I'm gonna cut a long skinny strip from the same fabric that's about an inch wide. I actually recut it and it's a little over an inch wide now. And I'm going to fold that strip in half and line up the raw edge of this with the raw edge of the skirt. And I'm going to sew across all those raw edges to attach them all together. And I cut off any excess. Then when you flip up that piece, there will be a nice little clean edge now. Now placing this around the doll with the wrong side facing outside, I match up the ends in the back and I mark with pen where I'm gonna sew it. I'm not sure how well you can see this on camera, but I made a line right here marking where I want to sew the skirt together. I'm gonna sew from the bottom up and leave a little space at the top so that the skirt can slide on and off. Then I cut off the excess fabric. Then I flip it inside out. And unfortunately, I did a weird sewing thing in the back where I accidentally sewed this pleat together in the back and it just looks a little odd, but uh, don't make that mistake if you do this because um, it does look a little bit weird. But now I'm just going to take these two rough edges and I'm just going to fold them over and I'm going to sew them down to make them nice and clean. And this time I might actually use a needle and thread just because it is such a little spot to sew. So now it has a bit of a cleaner edge, even though it wasn't the best sewing job. Now I have these little snap fasteners, which I actually love for especially little projects like this. 
So I'm gonna sew one side here and the other side in here. And now I slip the skirt onto the doll and button it up. I do think the skirt looks pretty cute. If I make it again, I would definitely make the pleats a little bit smaller because they are pretty large in this scale. Now for the top, I'm gonna start out by drawing a pattern for the t-shirt. And cut it out. Now personally, mine measures four inches at the top. The sleeves are an inch wide and come out a half an inch. The whole shirt is three inches long and the body of the shirt is also three inches. I'm aware it looks really weird and just like awkward right now, but I promise you it'll look a lot better later. Now I grab some fabric. Personally, I'm using a black stretchy t-shirt material and I'm going to fold it in half so that the good side's on the inside. And then I take my t-shirt pattern and I place it so the top of the t-shirt is aligned with the fold of the fabric. And now I'm gonna mark around it. I'm using chalk because this is black fabric and you wouldn't be able to see marker. Then I cut that out. Then I'm going to unfold this and with the wrong side facing up and using some fabric glue, I'm going to fold over the sleeves and hem them. Of course you could sew this, but since it's such a small little hem, I did just want to use some fabric glue and I'm going to repeat that on the other sleeve. I'm personally not going to hem the bottom just because it won't really be too noticeable with how I plan on transforming the shirt later. Anyways, now I'm going to refold the shirt with the good side on the inside. And I'm going to sew from the sleeve down to the bottom on both sides. And this time around, I am going to hand sew it just because this fabric that I'm using in particular is very thin. And my sewing machine will probably ruin it. So I'm just going to sew this by hand. Once I've sewn that all together, I'm just gonna cut off any excess fabric. Now I'm going to fold the shirt in half and make a little cut at this point. And I'm just gonna use some more fabric glue and fold over the neckline so it has a nice clean edge. Then on whichever side you want to be the back, I make a cut from the neckline and down a little bit. Then I'm grabbing some more glue and I'm gonna fold over those edges as well. So now as you can see, I folded over those edges so now it will have a clean edge. Then I'm gonna flip this shirt inside out. Then I cut small pieces of Velcro and I'm going to sew the Velcro on in the back so that the shirt can open and close. And now I'm going to go and put this on the doll. Now there's kind of a few different ways that you could style the shirt. Right now, as you can see, I have it tucked in, but another cute way of styling it would also be to tie it up and I just use some elastics to hold it in place. Now, let's not lie, this shirt looks kind of boring right now. So, I went ahead and printed some words in a small scale and I'm going to cut them out. I'm gonna use this little one that says mood on it and using some fabric glue, I'm going to glue that onto the shirt. And I think that looks a lot better and pretty cute. 
Overall, I'm really happy with how this outfit turned out. It's kind of hard to see on camera how it looks, but I think it looks really good. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to give this outfit a try and what you think of it overall. Before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Pardeep Singh, Meredith Wilson, and Odessa Maka. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you want a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe down below for more videos like this. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. For this all my life, you're just my type. I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right. Your dark hair with those eyes so bright. They look into my soul and it sparks my life. Can I take you there? Take you there. Like it was the first time, dear.